what's up my people and in this video we're going to talk about how i was able to make 3.7k in profit in literally one day trading gold which is xausd so actually you are kind of seeing this uh, different setup today right so i was kind of having technical and issues uh you know in my office but but uh thank god for that we already fixed everything and uh, this is how the new office looks like now you know so um what basically i'm going to talk about today is i'm going to tell you what i was seeing in the market before i took uh, uh this particular trade on gold and what are the signal confluences that i saw in the market before i came in for the buy because actually i bought gold so let me show you on my phone so you can uh, know exactly how much i made trading or uh, trading gold so let me show you real quick so that you can uh, you know uh, understand that we don't play right here and anything that I'm showing you right here it is what is already working in this market because I've started trading three years ago but I'm two years profitable in this market so right now I'm going to apply a custom period which is going to start from 14 of July because yesterday was 14 of July to 16 of July because uh, I literally made it yesterday uh, or let's just put it 14 to 14 so this is 14 to 14 right now and as you can see all of them hit stack profit and i made about 3.7k in profit so uh if you can't see it i'll just put it uh, at this screen so that you can see exactly what i'm saying is true and accurate so anything that i'm going to be showing you right here it is what is working already for me and uh, if it does help out for you you can start using it as well so Thank you very much. Let's dive into my computer so I can just show you exactly what I was seeing in the market before I get in for the buy on XA. Uh, everybody, here we go now on my computer where I'm going to show you exactly what I was seeing in gold before we took the buy yesterday. So let's go to our XAUUSD, you know, so I can show you exactly what I was seeing in the market. So this was analysis, and I've, I didn't even know. Uh, you know remove the analysis remove everything i didn't do any of that so in today's video we're going to show you exactly how i did it and what i was seeing in the market right so right now in real quick uh, i'm going to just clear the, all of this so that you know we can start doing it all over again so you can understand exactly what i was seeing in the market because you already know that uh, i'm a price action trader so that's why i trade price action and naked chart trading so right here what i was seeing for this goal is this is for our time frame and as you can see the what i did is i just zoom out after zooming out because whenever time you are trying to analyze any particular prayer in this market the first thing that you are supposed to do is you just to uh, zoom out a little bit and uh, you check for demand zone and support zone you know what i'm saying so after i check for that as you can see the market structure right now it is going to the upside making a, a higher high high low higher high high low move to the upside if you you if you see or uh, watch one of my video of where i explain how to trade support and resistance levels you should be able to understand what i mean by uh lower high a high 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 low high 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 low you know so i explain exactly what the high high and what the high low is in that particular video but in this video you know i'm just going to uh, go through how i did it and how i took uh, this trade for uh, for gold yesterday which made me about 3.7k in profit so right now the first thing that i did it was to back up my support and resistance levels i threatly so these are the support and resistance levels and uh, after i put my support and resistance levels the next thing that i did it was uh, to put my trend line you know what i'm saying so it was to put my trend line and uh, these are the support and resistance levels and you already have in mind that the market structure is up trending it is trending to the upside right so you put another support right at this point because i'm seeing another support right there as well so these are your support and resistance levels but right here i gotta put my you know uh, my rectangle so i explain this to my students why i put the rectangles they should be able to understand why i do so 
So right here, um, this is my support and resistance levels for this particular pair, which is uh, XAUUSD. So the, another thing that I did, which was just to zoom in a little bit so I can have a clear vision of uh, what's happening in the market, right? So I can put another, um, another rectangle right at this point. Right at this point, I can put my rectangle right here. Perfect. So, and uh, the, the next thing that I did yesterday was to come to the to where the price is because I'm a price action trader. So I do what the market is currently doing. I don't deal with what the market has done in the past. I will just have a clear vision of uh, what's, what has happened in the market. But to me, for me to get in or get out of the trade, I do with what the market is doing at the moment. So the next thing that I did, it was just to, you know, plot my uh, trend line. So in this Forex market, before you confirm that, before you validate your trend line that it is on a valid trend line, you need to have two touches possible. Without you having two touches possible, your trend line is not valid. As you can see, this is my first touch, second touch and the third touch right here. But based on the fact that I just needed two touches possible for my trend line to be valid, then I did, the, uh, I started to uh, my trend line right at the bottom, then to the top. So I had this first touch and second touch right here of which confirms that of it validates my trend line. So apart from that, then I had my third, uh, third uh, touch right here, fourth and fifth touch. So I had a lot of touches which tells me that uh, the market is up trending so after i figure out the market structure the next thing that i did yesterday it was uh, to zoom in then i'll see exactly what the market is currently doing and as you can see right here the market was just kind of uh making a this was the high high move then a high low high 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 low high high and this market structure that we are seeing right here it is a ranging market so this is where i take my price range and uh, for make it like this, confirming that this is a ranging market. So after I do like this, you know, the next thing that I look out for is, it was the, the candle that formed right here. As you can see this candle, uh, this candle that you see right here, it is a, a kind of dragonfly doji, you know, as I spot it out. So this week to the dancer told me that uh, there's a lot of rejection to the dancer. You know what I'm saying? So I, so I spot out this kind of candle and I already know that the market structure is ranging. So whenever time the market come down to this level, I, I know that, yes, the, the next move that's supposed to happen right here, it, was, it is a, a lower high. So my target, it was just to catch this lower high move from this point, but you know, I usually get in at lower time frames. So after I figure out what's happening on bigger time frame like this, I go down to either five minute time frame or 15 minute time frame to get in for either a buy also. It depends on uh, what I'm seeing in the market and it, it, it depends on the market structure that I'm dealing with. So that's what exactly I was kind of seeing in the market. So I had about four to five signal confluences right here because before you get into any trade, at least calculate your stop loss, calculate your take profit and calculate everything before you get into uh, uh, to any trade that you are about to take in this forex market because you know your first goal as a trader it is to protect protect your capital. Once you are able to protect your capital, you're gonna be profitable in this forex market. But uh, once the risk management side of it is missing, you know even if you learn price action, you learn uh, you learn everything to, for what, what you need. Uh, for you to be able to trade forex believe me if the risk management side of it is missing you are not going to be a profitable trader so that's why i say at least at least calculate your stop loss and calculate your take profit before you get into any trade so uh, i had about four signal confluences the first thing is though the, the market is kind of up trending the second one is the market is arranging at the current price action the third thing is I saw this candle, which tells me that there is a uh, rejection to the downside. The fourth confirmation is the you know the price is bouncing off of my trend line. So that's the fourth confirmation, and the you know the fifth one is you are seeing this candle. It is like kind of a dragonfly doji, and that's where I get in for the buy, and we took about one thousand plus pips. So right, this is where we got in yesterday. 
and right now i'm still in one of my position and uh, we are taking about 1582 pips right now and i'm still in this particular trade expecting a very very long term buy on this gold you know what i'm saying so um those are the things that i was kind of looking at yesterday uh before we get into to uh this gold trade setup yo what's up what's up what's up you know thank you very much for checking on us and i'm kind of excited that you find this video very helpful and uh, please don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to my channel also click that bell notification icon so that whenever time i upload a new content to youtube so that you'll be the first person to be notified that say hey israel has already uploaded a new video and uh, it will be ready for for you to watch you know what i'm saying so and uh, please don't forget to follow me on instagram follow us on uh um, you know on our telegram channel as well so that we'll be connected on each platform that are uh, that we are using so once more again i'm still israel the trader and i'm thanking you very much for checking on us and i will see you in the next video see you next have a good day